Sunday of Lent. May we begin our prayer as we always do in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, as we gather around the Eucharistic table, even in abstentia, may we be mindful of the Lord's presence in our hearts and in our life. Our God is a God who walks with us each step of the way, who offers to us healing and forgiveness and compassion. With this awareness, may we now thank him for this day, thank him for the gift of life, and ask for his mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you offer comfort and healing to your people, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring all of us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. By your help we beseech you, Lord our God, may we walk eagerly in that same love with which out of love for our world your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and have you rise from them, O my people. I will put my spirit in you that you may live, and I will settle you upon your land. Thus shall you know that I am the Lord. I have promised, and I will do it, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the spirit, if only the spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin, the spirit is alive because of righteousness. If the spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his spirit dwelling in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be with you and with your spirit a reading of the Holy Gospel according to John glory to you Lord the sisters of Lazarus sent word to Jesus saying master the one you love is ill when Jesus heard this he said this illness is not to end in death but is for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was ill, he remained for two days in the place where he was. Then after this, he said to the disciples, let us go back to Judea. When Jesus arrived, he found Lazarus, he has already been in the tomb for four days. Now when Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise. Martha said, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live, and everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I've come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. He became perturbed and deeply troubled and said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Sir, come and see. And Jesus wept. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, could not the one who opened the eyes of the blind man have done something so that this man would not have died? So Jesus, perturbed again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay across it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the dead man's sister, said to him, Lord, by now there will be a stench for he has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know that you always hear me, but because of the crowd here, I have said this, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he has said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, tied hand and foot with burial bands, 
and his face was wrapped in a cloth. So Jesus said to them, Untie him and let him go. Now many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what had been done began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. First and foremost, to all of our parishioners, I express my care and concern for all of you, especially during this turbulent time. And I reflect on today's gospel. Martha and Mary were faced with the fragileness of life as they experienced the death of their brother. Notice that Jesus is with them as they share their own anxieties, their fears, and their uncertainties about this experience. Also notice that not only is Jesus with them, he relates to their experience. He is moved to his own tears. He's not just an idle bystander. In his presence and his relating, he speaks the word of life and resurrection, and he invites them to trust their faith. Jesus is present with us today as all of us are confronted in a global and local way with the fragileness of our own human life. His words to Martha and Mary are words that he speaks to us. Do you believe that I am the resurrection and the life? The Lord is with us, as I said, each step of the way. He knows what we are faced with, and he is one with us. May we continue to be one with him and trust in his care, his compassion, his healing for our world. May our response to today's gospel be a response that we offer daily. Oh God, come to our assistance. Make haste to help us in our time of need. I encourage all of us to dig, dig deep into our own hearts, into our own spirits. Wherever we are on our spiritual journey, and believe that that spirit of life and resurrection is within us, a spirit of life and resurrection that will restore us, will restore our world and bring us closer together to the God who loves us and created us and to one another as sisters and brothers. May our Lord continue to bless all of the parishioners of St. Charles Borromeo Parish. May our Lord continue to bless our community, our local community. May our Lord continue to bless all those who tend and care for the sick. And may our Lord comfort those and console those who find this turbulent time one of great suffering. Amen. Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in, and in Jesus Christ, Christ his, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead, 
He ascended, he ascended into, into heaven, heaven and is seated, seated at the right hand of God, God the Father Almighty. From there, From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Compassionate God, you take pity on the weak and the needy. In Jesus' name, we now offer our prayers. Guide your church during this turbulent time, O oh Lord. Keep us faithful to the gospel message of hope. We pray to our Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Send your spirit, Lord, on the leaders of our world. Turn their hearts and their eyes to work for the common good and well-being of all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Bless physicians, nurses, and healthcare workers with good health, patience, and courage during these uncertain and stressful times. We pray to our Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Comfort and restore all who are ill. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Give patience and hope to all who struggle with their fears and their anxieties. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May all who have died share in the everlasting life. And please, Lord, offer consolation to their loved ones, especially for Pasquale Cariccio, Anna LaRusso La Lacal, and Marian Toth, we pray to our Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, the prayer of your people who are gathered in faith and hope and love. Restore us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread that we offer to you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine that we offer to you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, be God with, forever. With humble and contrite heart, I ask you to receive these sacrifices we offer to you, Lord. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands, hands for the praise, the praise and glory of his, of his name, name, for our good, good and the and good, good of, all of all God's Church. Church. Hear, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of this sacrifice. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ, our Lord. For as true man, he wept for Lazarus, his friend, and his eternal God raised him from the tomb. Just as taking pity on the human race, he leads us by sacred mysteries to new life. 
Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty, rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in the one chorus of exultant praise as we now sing. with us on the journey of life. Bless indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and he breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of his last supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and he gave you thanks. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer to you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your spirit. Grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son. Confirm us in the bond of communion, together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, Matthew, our Bishop Emeritus, with all other bishops, priests, and deacons, and with your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the Church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their grief and their pain, their joy and their hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember all of our sisters and our brothers 
who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give to them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever there in the communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and the martyrs, Charles Borromeo, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is your forever and ever. At our Savior's command, formed by his divine teachings, we dare to pray, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the, the power, power, and the, the glory, glory are yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. away the sins of our world. Blessed are all who are called to this supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word and, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Let us pray. <clears throat> we
We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ, in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May we bow our heads and pray for the blessing of our God wherever we are. Bless, O Lord, your people who long for the gift of your mercy and healing and grant that what at your prompting they desire they may receive by your generous gift. And may our Lord continue to encircle us in his love, calm our fears, cheer our hearts, renew our hope, and grant us his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. May we be faithful to the Gospel of Jesus Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.